and that is not it. it uh, oh, okay, so we are not blatantly trying to funnel students into STEM fields. It's that STEM fields are under-certified compared to English fields. English, music, arts all have more certified teachers by almost double than STEM fields. We need certified STEM teachers. That is why this proposal is, and that's why I'm presenting this proposal today. Um, additionally, STEM fields teach logical, analyst, analytical, and critical thinking, and on top of that, it teaches creativity. I have learned more about creativity in a computer programming class than I have from any art class. It requires so much abstract thought and um, analytical thinking. And on top of that, talking about programming classes, there's one AP computer science class for every 14 football teams in America. And this is not even that our funding is misplaced, it's that we don't have the teachers to teach these classes. Now even upon that, if you look at theoretical tax revenues, to train a programmer to earn one dollar in tax revenues, you, it requires 2,800 times that for the football player. Our focus is, and it's not just our focus as this place, it's the teachers that we do not have, we do not have the personnel to do this. Now, um, just to clear some things up, it wouldn't be 12 billion, it would be 1.2 billion, and in the remarks that America cannot afford it, we need to be putting this towards our debt. The Department of Education's profits for this next year is $50.6 billion. And even if we made 15 times as many STEM teachers as we had, 4 million STEM teachers, more than we could ever possibly need, the Department of Education will make more than ExxonMobil, the most profitable privately held company this year alone. <coughs> now, these $50.6 billion, though, if we put towards our deficit, it would take 320 years to pay it off. Whereas I've already mentioned that $75 trillion stands to be gained from just increasing to Canadian levels. Um, in essence, I'm asking you to invest in our future, in the future of our teachers and the future of our students, just as these other countries have um, invested in theirs. What, the one that I did not get to was Saudi Arabia, who has invested $10 billion in their new science and engineering universities, which is why they have quickly, they have surpassed us. Um, for the fact that the Department of Education is making such a large profit just sickens me that they're making it off debt of the students, off of our youth, and off of our future. And fellow delegates, I cannot stand for this, and I hope that you cannot stand for this. We need these STEM teachers, and we need them now. We must begin for our preparation of our future today. And in doing so, we are assured that we are not going to become complacent or stop on the road of progress. Because no longer do, a, does, do foreign companies seek American STEM professionals, but rather America seeks their foreign counterparts. We have to reach out to other countries to fill the needs in our nation. <clears throat> this leaves our economy deprived and withering, and it must be addressed today. We need more certified STEM teachers, and we need them now. The future of our economy is dependent on the future of STEM education. I cannot stress this enough. And without change, the American economy will become obsolete. With that, I yield during my time to the chair. Thank you, Lily.